Well, well. What do we got here? You, uh, running late for the boneyard, mister? <laughs> yeah, well, I can see you're a little, little filled up here right now. I don't think you'd mind me taking a peek at the dearly departed now, would you? You see, there could be some family treasures in there I'll be interested in. Now, you just be still, you goofy old son of a bitch. Bitch. You can walk on in here. Kill all my men. Shut up. Take my whore. Mm. Chicken shit. What you gonna do, no name? Yeah, chicken shit, deuce. That's what you are. Let the female go. Oh, like hell I will. Like hell I will, motherfucker. Mm. You fucking shot me in my toe. Fucking. <laughs> Leave me with the hotel bill in Denver. That hurt. But thanks for the help with that pervert. I'll be seeing you, no name. <clears throat> Can you go I... back into Mexico? They won't let me back in, but I've snuck in a time or two. Yeah, I can you take her off that there, border. Hang you. Yeah. Whatever happened to that old gal you dated to that dirty Lou you called her? Dirty Lou? Yeah. Well, she was a little dirty, but she <laughs> wasn't like that fish legged thing you had. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but she was sweet. I loved her. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> Looked like a frog going across a tree. I want to know what was the name of that damn. Bank the, the Union, uh, uh, yeah, the Air Mesa. Uh, the Union Cross Bank. Well, right. Angus, yeah. what do you think we uh, got out of this deal? Well, I know we got 12000 some odd dollars a piece. Now we, uh, Holy you shit. greasy bastard, you can't even count. Oh, uh, yeah, no okay. bullshit. Okay. Let's play the cards for Christ's sake. Deal those cards, oh. will you? Here. Gentlemen, do you have any water? Hold it right there, Park. 
No need for violence. I dare say I'm unarmed. I sell candles. And all I want is a drink of water. You see, I've been traveling all about selling my wares and I'm completely parched. I would go as far as to say, I would give each of you a free candle for a drink of water. Go we'll get him some water back. Thank you. Now pick up your shit and get back to the railroad, boy. Sure. No problem. And thanks again. Hey, China boy. Leave the candles with us. Leave all my candles? You heard him. Leave the candles. making your acquaintance. True. But when they're alive, for some reason, they want revenge. It's easier to get rid of them. I love peanuts. Hey, Marky, do you have those, uh, you know, the ones that are cooked? Okay. The peanuts. The new ones that are the cooked peanuts. They're called roasted peanuts. Oh, <laughs> no, Senor Dynamite. I don't have any of those. Actually, I've never heard of those roasted peanuts. Uh, what are those? 
Cooked ones. They're roasted peanuts. Cooked. They're roasted peanuts. Compadre. You seen him? This guy? No, never in my life. Listen, mister. You looking for trouble? He's just found it. Okay, tell me right now. Where is he? In the church. It's around the corner. You can't miss it. How many? Four or five, maybe, I think. Do you think four? Do you think five? Five or four. Cuatro, cinco, por ahí. You're not as stupid as you look. me win one game. Like I said before, this here is a private party. Are those roasted peanuts? May I have one? and peanuts. Holy shit. Now those are some good roasted peanuts.
You know, may I have some whiskey? These, uh, these peanuts build up a paste in your mouth. Now that's some good shit right there. Good shit. Say, uh, what are you playing over there? So let's have. Uh, I heard about that. But, uh, never had a chance to play it. You any good at it? Si, bueno. No, jefe. You mucho, boy. You mucho better. Ooh, too much tequila. I gotta go pee. Seems like quite a difficult game. How does one play? Carefully. Hmm. Well, peanuts are fine. Let's cut to the chase, shall we? Why are two gentlemen like you in my establishment? Well, I couldn't agree more. Looking for this guy. That was four. That was five. That one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, and five. Oh, hey, fuck, Chinga, Chinga, son of a bitch. God, eat. Five. That was six. That was five. Six. God damn it, that was five. One, two, three, four, five. back there, sir. All right, Lieutenant, what you got? There's a cabin about a half mile up that trail. Sir, I suggest we reconnoiter the position. Very well. Carry on. We'll send someone down to the cabin, and we'll set up for a fire. That sounds good and all, but if and he ain't there, we should just quit. I'm tired of chasing this son of a bitch. Your ass on up that farmhouse. Billy Goat Gang. It's said alive. I know, I know. Like I said before, they lack revenge. 
I did them a favor, them old dirty bastards. We are not getting paid on this job. Oh, stop your hollering already. Don't get all mad your unmentionables up in a ward. I'll straighten it out. Yeah, well, you better see to it. And since we're gonna be near a mercantile, we're gonna have to pick up some supplies. The horses are gonna need to be shod. Uh, by the way, what are unmentionables? <laughs> Don't forget to pick up some dynamite. For dynamite. Yeah. So those old boys fell for your candlestick trick. Hmm. Yep. They were a little drunk and feeble, so that helped. You know? I don't think they could see all that well either. Yeah. They don't listen either. <laughs> so the church. How many sticks did you use? Ah, fuck. You gotta be kidding me. 23 sticks in all. Ah, you wasteful shit bird. <laughs> I know. You know, you could have done twice as much damage with half as many. Probably. But you know I like to do my job as thorough as possible. <laughs> uh, yeah. Don't mind if I do. Yes, them, but who the hell's them? Where are you going? Right. Stop your stamming around, mister. What's your name? Oh, please. Ah! Name! I don't know. I, I don't want them to find me. My name's John. John. Oh! Wait. Are you with them? Are you vigilantes? Highwaymen? No. No. Oh, good. There we go. Well, you could help me, possibly. They're coming for me. A lot of them. Oh. I don't see anyone at the present moment. Nobody. Mister? I suggest you tell us what's going on. No, please! They want to take my life! I haven't done anything! I beg you, I beg you for mercy, please. Mercy? I don't know. I don't like this guy. Oh. Yeah, quit your fault. You can hurt me, but you will not take my life! Oh, shut up! Or we will kill you. Not one word unless spoken to. You understand? Oh, Jesus. I'm terribly thirsty. Do you have anything to drink? Thank you. Oh, thank you. What? Tell him? You told him. I told him, right? You told him. You heard me. I heard you. He heard me. How many times do I gotta tell you? Not to speak unless spoken to. The bullshit act stops here, John. Until spoken to.
Very well. I was acting in a play. I'm an actor, you see. And a damn good one, I might add. Some say maybe the best in the world, I tell you. In my last performance, I went to procure payment for my services, where I was pounced upon by the stagehands. I believe I suffered a broken leg due to this misfortune. The producers thought I was someone else, a charlatan of some sort. Now, if you find gentlemen could help me back to my hotel in secrecy and protect me, I would pay you handsomely for your services. I have $12,000 waiting in a safe deposit box at the Grove Hotel. Hey, no name. Get your ass over here. Cap, sir. Cabinet seemed to be unoccupied at this time. I bet that slick bass was long gone. Let's get the hell out of here. John Wilkes Booth. This is Cap Forbes, United States Army. You got five minutes. Five minutes, Mr. Booth. On my command. You seeing this? Yeah. Burn that structure down right. around you. Hey, give me a quarter stick of dynamite. All right. Now listen up. You're gonna take asshole on a horse and get him ready to go out the back. I'm gonna lay down a field of fire here on the front. Hell of a plan. Let's go before they know what hit him. Come on, asshole. <clears throat> Remember, twelve thousand dollars to keep us up. She got away, and he had the help of two more men. They skedaddle, Captain. Son of a bitch. Damn good beans. Did you know, in ancient Egypt, they would burn the dead with beans to ensure their return to the afterlife. The bean field was a place where the souls of the dead would await their reincarnation. True story. Is that why you like beans?
So, the two men that saved you, who are they? I'm not quite sure. They did not, they did not come for me. They came for Mr. Blackjack. <gasps> There's my love. What have you been? Sergio? Hilda. Not now. No, go, not now. Hilda, run! Get out of here! <laughs> I'll tell you anything. What they look like? Un gringo, un chino. Hey, now where are they? That's my house. What the hell is this? It's a minute to hold. Um, let me think here. Um, These guys are them guys. Sorry, mister. No can do. Uh, we need an identifiable corpse for all rewards. Identifiable. This looks pretty goddamn identifiable to me. The proof is in the bag, you old geezer. Sorry, Sonny, uh, but uh, I have rules to abide by, and uh, no body 
means no reward. No reward? I told you, mister. The identifiable parts is right here. These guys are them guys. You get out of here right now, yellow boy. Whoa, whoa, whoa. T take it easy, old bastard. Before I fill your ass full of lead. I'm finding the door. I'm walking. Get I'm up. walking. Go on. Get the up. Goofy round eye old wrinkle get bastard. Up now. that turd or the remnants of the billy goat gang chief barkeep i need a drink i need it bad can you act no you know what acting is I i've been to a play once mister you okay no i am not okay i'm in dire need for an actor to play the lead in my play tonight Hey, mister. You need an actor? Yes. But it can't be you. You're too, you're, uh, too. You're, uh, I'm sorry. You're, you're not the right type. <laughs> Hello? I'm not an actor, but I know one. Hey, John. 
Good afternoon. This man right here is looking for an actor. I'm not an actor. <laughs> what do you mean you're not an actor? You're one of the best damn actors there is. You even said so yourself. He also did this play called The American Assassin. An American Assassin? You can act. You have saved me, my good man. And I need you to act in my play tonight. Here's a script. We must get you to the theater immediately. Believe this is happening. Barkeep, a bottle on me for those two. And I would love you to be my guest tonight, two reserved seats. I'm the host. You. Thank you, mister. You're going to be great. And good luck tonight. What do you expect from me? You look perfect for this part. I would like bottle and some glasses. Four glasses. Anything for you, Taviano? You gonna do a show for us tonight? No, no show. I'm just passing through. No show tonight. Mm, okay. Excuse me. Are you an actor? <laughs> no, I'm a magician. Magician? Hear that no name? He's a magician. I got an idea. Mr. Magician. Can you make this peanut disappear? God damn, you see that no day? He made the peanut disappear. It was in his left hand. And then he went back to his left hand, and it came out of his mouth. OK, ladies, let's go. Come see our show one night only. Get him going. Two minutes, come on in, two minutes. Come on in for a good time. Special on Tokyo, the Beverly Hills. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Thank you. I would like to present to you tonight a tale of treachery and deceit. Of course, we have to add a splash of levity along the way as well. I now ask you, sit back and enjoy a light through the darkness. I think I'm gonna go get us a whiskey. See if they have those peanuts. Them roasted ones, too. Hey, keep it down over there. Show some respect. Shut up. Woo! I told you time and again, Emma Sue, I wouldn't waste my time on such rubbish as Charles. Oh! <laughs>
It is I, my love. Please don't keep a fellow waiting. For I long to see you, my sweet. Is everything okay, dearest? Think, Emma Sue, think. Irresistible, darling. <laughs> for I cannot tell you how long I've waited for you. Oh, oh. Charles, my love, I want this. I need this. But can I spare your patience to play along with me in a game of intimacy? Oh, you know. what? what, my sweet? No need to tarry. I've got what you need. Now, put this on, and I'll take you outside for the ride of your life, darling. Oh. All right, Tally Ho, shall we? This is so entertaining, dearest. You're most important. Uh... What intarnation was that? Oh, what, darling? I didn't hear anything. That? Don't tell me you didn't hear that. What the hell is that? Or who is it? Oh. Darling, I can explain. I can explain it to you outside with a breath of fresh air. Come on. Whoa. Mirabelle? What the devil is going on here? I think I should take my leave. Oh, oh Charles, my love. I don't know how she could have gotten here. I haven't the slightest idea why. Why did you try and kill me, Emma Sue? I never did anything to hurt you. Thought we were friends. Emma Sue! I must be taking my leave now. How can one person be so callous? Charles! You can't leave me! Never! Emma Sue! Charles! Look at me! Whoa! Two bits I've ever spent. Two bits? You think two bits can get us one of them girls? Oh. Uh, maybe two dollars. Oh my God! It's the guy from the play. I, got I, I just saw him. He he rode he rode off on a horse. He he went that way. That way? Oh my God! He killed the president. Oh my God! The president? Oh my God! The president? Oh my God. The president. War Department, Washington. Yeah, the murderer of our late beloved president, Abraham Lincoln. John Wilkes Booth. Look at him. Shit. Shit. Shit! Shit! Let's go get him. God damn it.
I just never would have figured him for a murderer, no man. He's such a good actor. But the president, no less? That's pretty cool, come to think of it. Well, good actor or not, he's worth $50,000, partner. And this time, let's try a line. Not dead. <laughs> I suppose you're right. Just never know what evil lurks in the hearts of men sometimes. A real bona fide assassin. <laughs> Don't get riled up over his fame. He's just a bloodthirsty assassin. Nothing more, nothing less. You're right. I guess I just got all caught up in all the fun of it all. Come to think of it, you did too. What was her name anyways? I never got to meet her. Dynamite, let's try to focus up, all right? Just let it go. Focus up here. Just be quiet. Shut up. It was pretty funny. Those two gals got after it like a couple of pole cats. <laughs> and then when, when John died, what do you think I shot he the big, he shot, yeah, he was like, That was pretty yeah. fucking hilarious. <laughs> Oh, I told you, man, that was, that was some shit. That was some shit. <laughs> Evening, gentlemen. I'm going to take those guns out slowly and drop them on the ground near me. Like this. Blackjack Bennett was my partner. Upon his demise, it's all mine. Now, where's the gold? <laughs> gold. Don't play me for a fool. Where's the gold? We ain't after the gold, just the bounty. After a wanted man, in case you didn't know. Don't lie to me, boy. <clears throat> Listen, we're bounty hunters. Well, that's what we do. I'd appreciate it if you wouldn't call my friend here a liar. You appreciate it, do you? Well, you boys got a line of shit, I will give you that. More importantly, you have a nice payout down in the cabin. And I think that might be mighty profitable now that you come to mention it. Yeah, maybe so. Yeah, that is so. Bigger than your penny-ass nickel-dime shit you would've got from Blackjack, mister. God, mate, knock it off. You're damn right there's a hostage, and a big amount of payout is due upon delivery of that bounty. Hey, Dynamite, knock it off, pipe down. All right. He's right. Big payout. Okay. You. Pick up your gun. Easy. Now go down to the cabin. Bring back that hostage. One false move, and your partner here is dead. Now get going, and hurry up. No name. Yeah, just make it quick. Let me go. Can't you see I'm bleeding to oh, no, no, no. I told you to stop whining. Oh. Oh. It's nice to finally get some peace and quiet here. Oh, that there is my knife. And I'll be taking it back. It. Oh. Oh. Bet that felt good. Come again? I didn't quite hear you. Oh, you want some more wine. Well, here you go. You sure deserved it. 
Besides, you look kind of pale and all. That wine there is going to make you feel alive again. <laughs> mm. Can you believe that kid killed the president of the United States? Ouch. Oh, this hurts. This hurts. Uh oh. I think I have a broken nose. You better let me go. They're coming to rescue me. Who? And no one's gonna find you here. Like no one found these guys I killed over two years ago. God damn it. So with that being said, I don't think I can do that, mister. At least to like collect that reward for you for killing the president. Please. That president had it coming. You need to listen to me. I'm not the man they say I am. Ugh. I did justice, and you all be, should be grateful. Oh, my face. <laughs> all right. That tears it. There's something stuck in my face. You've had enough of this shit. <laughs> There. That's more like it. <laughs> Go on and cry now, you need a little bitch. <laughs> and quit your bleeding all over the floor. Hey, nice. You're a guest here. You best hold up right there. One more move. And I'm gonna shoot. Oh, John! Holy shit! You're shot. You okay? What the hell happened? Uh, uh, Here. Uh, I'm okay. Hey, we gotta stop the bleeding. God oh. damn it. Put this on. No. Put your hand right there. Now hold tight. Good. <laughs> Put pressure right there. What the hell happened, John? <laughs> what in the hell is this? Now what the hell you want? This here is my friend John here. You shot him? This rotten son of a bitch. Well, I didn't shoot him. He was already bleeding out. When I grab him outside the theater, and I think he'll be staying right here. Well, it looks like we're in a little fix, lady. You see, you got someone I need, and I ain't letting him die on me. What the hell are you waiting for? Shoot the crazy way. Shut the hell him. up, John. Not another word. <laughs> You'd better listen, John. Shut your butt. Well, what's it gonna be? I ain't accustomed to shooting a woman, but I will. Well, well, well. A shivers gentleman, I see. <sighs> I tell you what. <sighs> Why don't you get known him to shoot this bitch? How the hell? You know, man called No Name. That's my partner. We're what you call business associates. <laughs> oh. 
Oh, I'll be a son of a bitch if they don't be at all. He saved my hide a time or two. You know what? Let me tell you. Let me tell you the time you really saved my ass. No shit. God damn, it's a small world, ain't it? It's really nice to meet you. Hey, I'm dying oh, over here. Cheers. <laughs> I wonder what's taking your buddy so long. Well, he'll be back directly. I wouldn't worry so much about it. I hate to think that he was trying to pull a fast one. Hey, Hoodoo! How's my partner doing? Your partner is doing just fine. Howdy, sweetheart. It's been a long time. You good with that, Hawkins? Well, I'm just fine, Mr. Dynamite. I used this rifle in one of those new fangled traveling Wild West shows. Aggie had a gnat of a dog's ass at 300 yards. Damn. Hey! Just to be sure, I can't see my friend from here. Walk him out in the open if you will, please. There's your sweetheart. Now just get your ass up here. say this, but it's good seeing you. Hmm. Well. It's good to see you too, darling. Got pretty wooly with your friend there for a minute or two. You never told me you're running with a business partner. <laughs> well, for you, he's not the kind of guy that would square off with a female. Did you shoot him? Why in the hell did you shoot him? Better yet, why did you take off with him after the play? Like I told your friend there, I didn't shoot him. I kind of just bumped into him after the play. Bullshit, Pearl. Someone had to shoot him. Huh. In the play, he was shot with a real gun. Hmm. That was real. Holy shit, I thought he was acting on that. <clears throat> Pearl put a ball in the chamber. Yeah, no. <laughs> I'm still dying here. What? In case you didn't notice, you're worthless. <clears throat> And he's talking about you. I need help, you dumbass! Now he's talking about me. I swear, I've never met a more ignorant group of... Oh! Damn it. You all got caught up in conversing. I completely forgot about him. Feel kind of bad. The poor bastard took quite a beating from me earlier. <laughs> well, shit. He's dead. Another lost. Another lost one. Dead and not alive. Mm. Mm. You know what? The way I see it, let's take the bounty. Split it three ways. Does that sound fair to you? Fair. 
Fair enough. All right. Yeah. We should probably ride. Uh, get the horses ready. Uh, hmm. You know what? You should probably wrap him up in a blanket like you do. Do I hear that? I do. Go get the horses ready. Pearl, let's find out what's out here. Wrap him up? Sergio, what are you doing tied to a tree? Uh, you know him? <laughs> yeah, he was taken hostage by the Black Jack Bennett gang. But what are you doing here, Sergio? Oh! Hola, Senor Dynamite. What are you doing here? Este hulu. He killed my wife. He take me out here. Oh yeah, he come back looking for you guys. That was Huda Brown. I heard of him. That son of a bitch. You come with us? Uh, do you know? I gotta go and um, uh, you know, uh, put my wife to rest. Ah, uh, see. Uh, listen, Sergio. I'm really sorry for your loss. I feel terrible about that. But uh, I'll tell you what, we'll stop in and see it when we're next moving through there. Now listen, remember that piece of paper I gave you? Are you listening? Remember that piece of paper? That's how you're gonna reach me when you hear something about the Black Jack Bennett mine. Okay, you hear something about the mine, I'm No name! I think he's gotta take a piss. Gets made by the mail in North County. Mail in North County. Adios, Senor Dynamite! Little Bill, you've done bit had. Now hand that pistol over nice and easy. That's nice. Stay down there with me and don't move a muscle or you're a dead woman. It's right there. That, this? I don't know what that is. That looks like a goddamn train wreck. You're gonna pay, you rotten son of a bitch. You killed my brother, Little Bill. I'm Little Mary, and you done mess with the wrong midget. I mean, little person, you prick. This here's my partner, Little Peter, and he ain't one to be fucked with either. Now throw down your weapons, asswipe. You heard the lady, boys and girls. Throw down your guns. We can end all this drama. Give me the body. He is rightfully mine. If I can't have him, none of you can. I've been following for years without him giving me a second glance. It was meant to be... You! You ruined my plan! Now you must pay with your life! Well, go on, and make your play, you crazy son of a bitch. Come get some. You and that... sort-off little runt. Ha 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 ha! 
<laughs> what are you laughing at, you idiots? Greetings, my friends. I'm sorry to say, you no longer have the advantage. Hey, you're the magician who walked in the saloon. That's him, no name? He did good on that one trick, though. Stop this nonsense bullshit. You will speak when spoken to. One more word, and I will spill your guts with two barrels of buckshot. Now, you're going to give us the body of John Wilkes Booth on that horse. See? Back at town, I saw this lovely lady ride out on horse with John Wilkes Booth's body. And she disappeared in thin air. <laughs> <laughs> now, you kneel down, or your friend will be first. Come on, get down. Mr. Taviano, can you please afford me one last smoke? Oh, fine. Why do you Americans always want to be so dramatic? Just die already. <laughs> <laughs> I got you now, you Rasputin prick. It's the last time you run out on me, you no-paying pig. I chased you across two states, countless carnivals and saloons, and four very unreputable cat houses. Oh, my dearest. What a wonderful surprise to see you, my lovely. We were so worried. Save it, peckerhead. It's time to pay the piper, you unsavory son of a bitch. But, my lovely, I... Never met. I'm not playing. Time's up. <laughs> oh. Oh, please. I'm not falling for one of your phony tricks. Hey, hold yourself together and die like a man, pansy boy. <laughs> I only beg for your forgiveness and hope we will meet again one day, my delicate desert flower. Now, if you do the, me a favor for a one last time for a smoke. Now, who's being dramatic, you phony bastard? Go on and burn one. Make it quick. No. No! No! Damn it! Damn! God, Glover, and you do not know! Are you a hunk of shit, Pete? No! This ain't how this goes! He sniffed the horse! Oh, Gene! He showed wait, up! Wait for me! <laughs> okay, show's over. Let's go. She's dead. We need to hurry up. Gotta make it to the camp. Well, I don't think there are gonna be any more ridiculous distractions. Well, let's just make sure there are not. Okie doke. Let's get going. Huh. God damn. That was the best damn trick I ever did see. How far you figured to the garrison in Owens? Shouldn't be more than a couple days' ride. If I figured correctly. That is, if we keep our shit together. <laughs> so, Pearl.
Pearl. How'd you come about going after John in the first place? <clears throat> oh, boys. I guess I'm kind of like y'all in that. I've done my fair share of bounty hunting for quite some time. <coughs> like the last time I hooked up with no name. I was chasing a bounty skip at a time. Till I was smooth talked into spending a bit of quality time with your friend here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well then, Pearl, you must tell me the whole story. All the gritty details. Don't leave nothing out. You know what? I think we've heard enough about that subject tonight. No, no, no. Oh, no, yes. No. That's enough. I think it's time we go to sleep. Horses here, sir. Captain Ford. Pearl? Got some for you. All the starling. Thank you. All right. You got John Wilkes Booth. Yeah! She got John Wilkes Booth. That's it, boys. Back it in. He's done. Lieutenant. Take control of that body. Yes, Captain. Pearl, if you would be so kind as to join me in my tent. Wow. Hey, guys. How'd you find him? <laughs> How'd you guys get that son of a bitch? Well, it's quite an interesting story. So we first found John in a cabin in the woods. He come running in like his ass was on fire. <clears throat> well, thank you, Captain. My pleasure, ma'am. Lieutenant. Fetch some peanuts, wine, and table. Yes, sir. Me and No Name there were posted up just enjoying the night like some normal. Let's go. No name. Dynamite. Join me, won't you? Yeah, we'll have Cornwallis. You know the Cornwallis? Yes, I do. Well, gentlemen. Take this. I think a drink is in order. Oh, you gotta pour heavier on that one. Thank you. Just introduced to the United States of America. Cheers, Chance. 
Cheers. Roasted peanuts. Crush those up, drink some wine with them. They're amazing. Good, ain't it? So, where's Pearl? Pearl's not important. Where's Pearl? Pearl's not important. Well, it's important it is the reward. Mm. I disagree. Yeah. For example, dynamite. What would you spend your reward on? Well, I would spend it on buying a whole lot of these peanuts here, that's for sure. So at the end of the day, we're all just working for peanuts. Let me get this straight. You gave the reward to Pearl, and we get peanuts. Poor shit. No name, let's go. Mm. You know what? This never would have happened if you hadn't gotten involved with that Pearl. You're right. You have fucked up. 